Today I'm going to show you how to use the Echo Flex within SmartThings to trigger complex automations. Now, what you're going to have to do is create something called a virtual switch because the Echo Flex does not directly interface with SmartThings. So, what we're going to do is inside the SmartThings application, we're going to hit the menu and go into Smart Apps. Then we will scroll down and find the virtual device creator. Now, if you haven't set this up before, you would actually have to hit the plus at the top of the smart apps application and then find the virtual device creator I happen to have created some of these before now we will go ahead and name our motion sensor and I'm going to call it flex motion on just for the purposes of this demo once you've created that virtual switch you can go back to the main page go up to the menu and then hit the gear icon to get into the whole settings for the application then you will find connected services and if you don't already see Amazon here, you would have to go and hit the plus on the main page and choose to add a voice assistant to make the connection. Now, once you've done that, you will come to this page where you have to choose which switches, thermostats, heaters, locks, motion sensors, contact sensors, and even routines and scenes. Some of those can be shared to Amazon's voice assistant. Now, what we're going to do is go into switches in this case and choose the flex motion on that's the virtual switch we just created here so that means that when we go back to Amazon either at a speaker or within the application we can ask to discover devices and it will find that new flex motion on as if it's a switch that's why it's called a virtual switch now you can see I'm just adding the flex motion on to a room I've added it to my kitchen and you can see inside smart things I can go ahead and I can tap to turn that on and off so this becomes something that you can use as a device fully in smart things you could schedule it or power it on now back in Amazon's voice assistant application I'm just going to show you that I can actually ask to discover the devices wait a few minutes and then I would go into my switches and you can see the flex motion on switch now I can again press this on I can turn it off and it is a fully functioning switch that then gets changed changed inside of smart things here now off of that I can go ahead and create a routine now to utilize this in a deeper way so we're going to actually pick the echo flex so when this happens and I'm choosing smart home my first motion sensor I'm picking which is actually my echo flex then I'm choosing that when it detects something I want an action to happen and this is how I'm going to tie these two sensors together because I'm going to go and choose that flex motion on virtual switch that I created so we're going to turn that on anytime the first motion detector senses motion so I've created that pattern already now we'll want to also turn it off so I'm going to go back into creating a new routine I'm going to pick that first motion sensor again choose not detect it and then go all the way down to one minute which is the cool down time on the echo flex motion sensor anyway so I'm going to then go back and find my flex motion on and we're going to make sure that that is turned off whenever we don't have motion for a minute so that's when it will turn off inside of the Samsung smart things system so back in smart things we can now go ahead and use that flex motion on as it's directly mirrored to what's happening on the Amazon voice assistant side of things so let's go ahead and use that to create a really complex automation start up at the menu and then go into automations now from here you'll be able to click the plus sign to start a new one and the plus again to add the first condition now we're going to choose device status and scroll down to find that flex motion on which has been mirrored to Amazon's voice assistant so go ahead and tap that and I'm just going to choose on for the purposes of this demo so when that turns on and I'm going to add another condition by hitting the plus then I will choose security mode in this case so I only want to be notified when the security system is engaged and this gives you two conditions now 
So now I'll hit next down at the bottom because I'm done adding conditions. You could add more. Then we'll hit the plus on the then and I'm going to choose send a notification and I'm also going to enable my camera to go ahead and attach a photo to this notification. Now this is a push notification and I can go ahead and say what message I want to give with this. But you could go ahead and create really any automation at this point and that's the power of adding an Amazon Echo Flex into the Samsung SmartThings application with a virtual switch. Now, if you'd like to further extend the Echo Flex and its capabilities, go ahead and join us on Automate Your Life where I have a nine ways to use the Echo Flex video that shows you a number of these things, including this. So go ahead, click that, or subscribe to Automate Your Life tutorials for more like this. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and of course, don't hate, automate.